Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number two of the AC Milan career mode here on Xbox One. Now, yesterday the video went down tremendously well. I cannot thank you enough for the amazing response you gave. That you guys have been super understanding of uh, the error that I made, and uh, I think you guys can uh, can well understand the fact that I feel stupid enough already having deleted the uh, the save file for the Atletico. Uh, career mode. So we're coming into this one as AC Milan. Now we've got, as we said yesterday, a lot of transfers to get done if we possibly can. We haven't got too much to spend. Around about 20 million or so, give or take a little bit, plus or minus, depending on whether we can uh, use our, uh, our current players that we don't necessarily want as bait to uh, draw in some extra some extra incentives for other teams, etc. But you guys went ham with suggestions, etc. And uh, I've Put in inquiries for numerous players that uh, you guys have put in uh, put in the comment section. We'll wait to see what happens with those. I uh, recorded this second episode uh, straight after I recorded the first one, just to make sure that you know I had a little bit of backlog to uh, to add a little bit of leeway to make sure that I was able to uh, to you know make, to maintain these daily uploads, etc. But uh, I've put a lot of inquiries in. We've put around a lot of separate offers as you, as you can see uh, already we're putting in a few offers left right and center for us uh, for some a goalkeeper for s some midfielders Abu Diaby actually is uh, one of the players that I'm trying to get in at the minute as you can see two players from Valencia Guita the goalkeeper and Victor Ruiz the center back because we've got quite a lot of older players in the AC Milan side it's been kind of a stereotypical uh, stereotype I guess of, uh, of AC Milan over the past few years they've kind of been the sort of side that has an older squad with their players coming towards the twilight of their career you know you've got or well, they've recently had players like Ronaldinho Maldini you've got Michael Essien there now um, Nigel De Jong's getting on a little bit uh, Clarence Seydorf you had Ambrosini as well David Beckham you know a lot of players that you would uh, you would say were coming towards the very end of their careers and uh, what since all those players have since moved on AC Milan really haven't been the side that they once were you can tell that from real life this year they've been horrendous in uh, in Serie A and not that good in Europe either so uh, that's effectively the uh, the task we have at hand with this AC Milan side it's restoring them to their former glory and it really isn't a case of just replacing what we've got already with star talent we don't have the money to do that right now we need to make sure that we can have a half decent successful first season to build up the uh, the talent of the squad that we already have build up the youngsters that we already have and try and build for the future because it's a long-term project here at AC Milan it's not going to be a one season wonder so uh, I'm looking to players that are not necessarily very very young but kind of already half established as, uh, as professional footballers. Players that can come in, replace the elder players that we've already got. They're not necessarily well beaters, but to replace players like Marco Emilia, to replace players like Zaccardo at centre-back and, um, oh, I can't remember what the other, Benera, the other centre-back's getting on a bit, 32 years old, I think he is now. Players like that, their stats are going to drop. And Michael Essen as well, who will have seen earlier, we had an offer come in from VRAL for. He, I actually don't, think I'd listed him on the on the transfer market but VRL came in and offered for him and it was above what he was worth so I was more than happy to accept it. So you can see we've had an offer for Rubinho as well but I want to keep Rubinho. He's not the best anymore. He definitely is getting on a little bit but still has that pace that can make the difference on the counter attack as, uh, as you know an influential player from the bench etc. So he's definitely someone I want to keep hold of. Uh, as you can see Chelsea have come in with a massive offer for Mario Balotelli but he has the most ridiculous potential you uh, you could possibly imagine according to foothead and according to you know feedback i've had from you guys on twitter and in the comments etc he can get up to around about 90 overall so i most definitely want to keep hold of mario balotelli he's kind of the talisman for the entire team as uh, as we stand right now although of course you've got players like kaka and kazuki honda etc that uh, and el sharawi as well you know players that are stereotypically obviously honda is a new signing but uh, kaka el Shar and balotelli are the kind of standout players you presume would be in the starting lineup week in week out for this AC Milan team and that is the plan as well to have those guys in the starting lineup for uh, for the foreseeable future I'm not too sure what sort of formation I'm going to be playing heading into the uh, the friendlies I'm going to kind of rotate around a bit because I played one friendly you'll see that later on in this episode and I get the funny feeling because without being too harsh uh Balotelli is pretty lazy, and uh, I kind of th I kind of feel like he's going to need a partner up top. And the the default position at uh, or default uh, formation rather at AC Milan is a four two three one, and uh, we did well with that at Chelsea. But I just think Balotelli is going to be the same as Diego Costa, and he's going to need a partner up with him to make sure that we can get the best out of him. But as you can see, there we just 
confirmed the signing of Victor Ruiz. He's coming in. Very, very good centre-back. I've, uh, I've enjoyed playing with him for a few years now. Got decent potential as well and is already well established as a, uh, you know, a half-decent footballer. So, uh, fingers crossed he can do the job for us as centre-back. Of course, we recently got Adil Rami from Valencia as well. He's come in uh, before we started the career mode but with the recent updates. Uh, another big offer for Mario Balotelli there from uh, Borussia Dortmund, but uh, of course we will be re rejecting that. We've also got Christian Zapata at centre back, so I feel he and Rami will be our two starting centre backs. With uh, with of course Philippe Mexes being a rotation centre back, and the uh, the recent addition there, Victor Ruiz. We're looking to bring in uh, Victor Guita as well, the goalkeeper, because of course Abiati is like 50 bajillion years old. So are the other two goalkeepers we have that we're trying to move on, Emilia, and uh, there's one other whose name escapes me right now. I do apologise. There's also a young goalkeeper as well who uh, is only 20 years old but only rated 68 as we covered in yesterday's episode so uh, he's one for the future but not necessarily good enough to hold his own as a rotation uh, goalkeeper right now. Abiati is planning on retiring at the end of the first season though so we can bring Guita in, get him some first team football, help him improve as a pro and then by the time Abiati retires hopefully the uh, the younger goalkeeper if we can get him out on loan he can uh, improve as a whole and be ready to step up to the plate for that second season but uh, in this opening friendly then we do have Fulham at home. Now the San Siro looks absolutely spectacular. I'm a little bit apprehensive with, uh, with the San Siro because in previous years in a certain sunny conditions there have been some dodgy shadows on the pitch and uh, so far this year on FIFA 14 I haven't played much at the San Siro so I'm not entirely too sure how that's going to hinder us as we push forward hopefully it's not going to be too much of an issue but uh, we'll have to wait and see how that pans out but like I say we're going into this one with a 4-2-3-1 formation Balotelli up top on his own with Kaka, Kazuki, Honda and El Shirawi as the three behind him with uh, I think I moved in Abu Dhabi to start because of course he's new to the team I started Victor Ruiz as well and uh, Guita started in goal as well. With the new signings, all three of the new signings that we've brought in so far are starting in this one. Just to kind of get a feel of how they play and uh, how they're going to, you know, try and bed them into the first team. Get the uh, the rapport built up with the with the, the other teammates, etc. Montelivo is obviously the the other holding midfielder. Although I'm unsure as to what to make of him, to be completely honest. I've not enjoyed playing with him to in uh, in previous FIFAs, but I'm you know like with all players in this squad, I'm willing to give him the uh, the chance that he deserves to uh, to prove to me that uh, he has the ability that it takes to uh, you know to to be a first team a valuable first team member to this AC Milan side but we get off to a poor start in the second half Honda don't know what he's doing with his arms there fair play to him putting the effort in to get back to try and uh, help out with the defense but he just gives a penalty away for handball but Guita on his debut makes a penalty save from Darren Bent and we're able to keep ourselves in it at nil nil in his uh, simple save from the follow-up header but uh, this was a game that we not dominated but we're very, very strong in. We just couldn't quite find that finishing touch. As you can see, Rubinho having a glorious opportunity there. And unfortunately, playing it straight at David Stockdale, who made quite a few very, very good saves, it has to be said. But uh, in that game, we unfortunately draw nil-nil. But we did have chances, which is good. We were creating stuff, although not as much as I may like. So in the next game against Levante, as you can see there, which will be in tomorrow's episode, I'm going to, uh, to maybe experiment with a 4-3-3 with uh, the two CMs and a Cam. And have Kaka sat at Cam with the Honda wide right, Elsa wide left and then Balotelli up top and then in the third friendly against Gwingom I think I'm going to try some formation having uh, Balotelli with a partner and hopefully by that point we'll have been able to bring in a, a strike partner for him. We're looking at Lacazette, we're looking at Abel Hernandez. You guys are giving me some suggestions as well to look at before we get to that friendly. So that will be all in tomorrow's episode. Some big transfers as you can see in the bottom right. Luis Suarez has gone to Barcelona for £38 million. Lewandowski has gone from the Bundesliga to La Liga as well. £36 million to, uh, to Real Madrid and Fernando Torres has replaced him at Borussia Dortmund for £12 million from Chelsea. So it's all going off so far in this AC Milan career mode. That, but that is going to bring this particular video to a close. So thank you very much for watching guys please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind if you could show this video the same sort of support as you did yesterday then i would be forever indebted to you You guys have been so superb i honestly absolutely panicked my tits off when uh, i made the mistake with the athletic uh, save and i wasn't sure what sort of response i was going to get i was hoping for a positive one uh, but you guys absolutely blew me away so you know true credit to you guys i've 
got such I'm so blessed to have such a supportive following on, on YouTube and on Twitter as well so uh, thank you very much for that guys as you can see on the end slate as well there'll be links to subscribe and to the previous episode in this series on either side as annotations there's a link in the description to subscribe as well and to uh, to follow me on Twitter if you are active in the Twitter sphere I'm over there as well but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching there will of course be a my player episode at nine o'clock tonight in the sub boxes so don't miss out on that as well but other than that I will see you next time